do I want to use Composer? I'm not a CAD user. I want it to take my technical documentation to the next level and be able to make it easy to use. I need multiple formats for multiple platforms like HTML, Word, Publisher, etc. I want interactive content. Do I want to spin it around on my HTML document? Do I want nice, vibrant pictures? What do I want? What do you want to use Composer for? What do you want your documents to look like? I want to quickly and easily share this with my customer. How do we achieve this? SolidWorks Composer has many tools to achieve your design goals. It's interactive, vibrant views, updates and revisions are a snap, reduction of rework, highly customizable. How do we do this? Well, let's get started. First thing I want to show you is how to import your CAD data into Composer. You simply just select open, find where you have it stored, select what kind of file it is, we have all of these files that we can import into Composer. So let's find a SolidWorks assembly. We're going to open this. We can also merge, but I will show you how to do that later. I can select the SolidWorks icon. We've got many different configurations inside our CAD data, and we can choose which one we want to open inside of Composer. Select open. Now Composer is processing the parts the assemblies, the metadata, the rendering, and putting it into the Composer format, which currently is an SMG package. Then you can take those files and export to many different types of exports. Just one more second here, and here we go. This is our imported SolidWorks assembly. We have our home toolbar, rendering. I want to change my parts. I want to move them. For now, I'm just going to turn this ground plane off because it's very bright and busy. I just want to turn that off so it's nice and simple. I like simplicity. These pieces of glass don't look like glass. Let's change the opacity. Now they look correct. I have my first view. I have my cover view want to make it a little bit bigger so it takes up the entire view and it's nice and big and easy to see. I simply say create view. Pretty simple right? The next thing I want to do is I want to take off this cover and show you how to bring out the grinding wheel. So let's go ahead and do that. I can simply move this over, make it a little larger, easy to see. By hitting the tab key it lets us choose items underneath. To move items, you can hit transform. I can select transform or I can just right click and say transform right here. Drag the axis, deselect items, drag the axis again. Looks like I missed a screw. So we're going to go ahead and bring that out here. And that's all we need to do to move items off their original location. I want to move that out just a little bit more. Boom, done. We have our next view. Now I want to actually bring out the grinding wheel. So I'm going to select these items and hide them, just like that. Now to get the grinding wheel, I can simply select it, just move it out. I can take these parts and expand them just how we have been doing, or 
I can use the enhanced tools in SOLIDWORKS Composer to do an automated explode. We now have our next view. Within just a few minutes, we've already created three views. Uh, Composer is simple to use. Now I have a list of serv serviceable items that I want to uh, give the marketing department or the purchasing department rather. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to my original view. The only thing I want to see is this guard and its associated items. So I'm going to select it. If you're a SOLIDWORKS user, we have tools like Isolate. In Composer, we have enhanced tools that I can show all geometry, show what I have selected, turn everything else off. There's many things we have here. So I'm going to show selection and hide others. Boom. Just like that, we have a piece of our master assembly and we're looking at only those items. Now I want to make a bill of material of the serviceable items on this. <clears throat> Move this over to the left because we're going to explode them to the right. Take all these guys, move them out, and keep on exploding the items that we need. Grab this bracket and its hardware. Move it on out. I want to line these pieces up in relationship with each other. SOLIDWORKS has tools where we can do that. Right click, relationship, click, done. very simple to use. Now those are all lined up. I want to take this shield assembly and move it up as well. I can uh, translate them how we have been translating the other parts or in SOLIDWORKS when I hit translate there's this little circle that comes up and I can move my items within the same plane just at a different location but it's in the same plane if you look at the XY plane it'll show you and you can move those up so I'm gonna throw this up here make my view just a little bit different location move these items out Now we have a view to start our bomb. <clears throat> Creating a bomb is very simple. You can have selected parts in Composer, they're called actors. I can select the actors and then make a bomb from only those actors with very little effort. Composer gives us workshops. We can create a bomb, create technical illustrations, high resolution images, videos, animations. Here we're going to create a bomb. We get a panel off to the side and says, okay, now that you've selected these, how do you want your bomb to look? Do you want all the parts, just the selected ones, the visible geometry, selected or not? How do you want to set this up? I'm going to select selection. Generate the bomb IDs. We have our bomb IDs. 
and then create the callouts. Okay, we have some on the top, some on the bottom. How do we want these callouts to behave? We can select bottom and top, just the bottom, just the top, left, right. So I'm going to throw these on the right. Composer gives us a tool. It's called Magnetic Line. I can select all of my bomb balloons, drag it to the magnetic line, it automatically spaces it, and I can put the line wherever I want. Pretty simple, right? And now I have our next view. We're making views. This is simple. Now that we have a couple of views, let's put some visible features on them. This is our cover photo, so we're not going to do much with it. That is our cover image. I have a cover and bulbs out in space, but how do I relate them? In Composer, we can show the path of where they started, so where they started, where they ended, and what's the behavior in between. Now you look at this and say, wow, these lines dominate the screen. Let's change that. In Composer, it's highly customizable to every piece in it. I can change the width, make it a little bit skinnier, and it's still really, really black. So let's change the opacity. We still want to see what's going on, we just don't want it to dominate the screen. So it's a nice, clear, functional, vibrant picture, and does a purpose cleanly. <clears throat> My view to the left, my saved view, does not show what's on the screen. That's okay. Right click, update view. Bam. Done. Now I want to come to my grinding wheel to show the operator how to take the thing off. What way do I need to rotate the wheel itself? Dim that down just a little bit more so we can see. This is not exactly the view that I want, so I want to pull it around just a little bit so I can see more of the axis. <clears throat> I can place an arrow that says, okay, we're coming from the axis. To this nut out here. With Composer, we have tools that can allow the arrow to go through the center of the hardware and the disk. I don't want it on top. I want it to go through the center. Pretty easy, right? We can make circular arrows to go around this wheel. It notices your edges. So I click to create the arrow. Now I just want to get it in the middle. Click again. I can make it bigger, smaller, whatever I want, move it out a little. I can take the arrowhead and move it here instead. Right now it looks like it's going through the wheel, so let's make this gradient to where it'll fade out towards the end. Right now it's going perpendicular to the wheel, I want it to go parallel. With SolidWorks Composer, these changes are easy to make. I have the view that I want. Right click, update view. The fourth one is our bomb. To show the bomb, you select show hide bomb table. 
This is not the way I want to see my bomb. How can I change this? Select on the bill of materials. You can freeze, not freeze. And then select where the bomb is located. Do I want it at the bottom, the top, the left? Or do I just want it free and I can put it wherever I want? So now I can show it how I want and put it wherever I want. I can just do whatever I want in this program. Right click, update view. Now we want to show the motor. Where, where's the motor located? So now that I have all my views saved, I'm going to go back to my original view. There's a motor inside. I want to see that. I can select tab to make these transparent. Grab the motor, its axis, and make a detailed view of it. Right now we're in the bomb workshop. We want to be in the high resolution image workshop. I want to create a detail view. It's a little big, so let's just size it down to the item that we're actually going to be capturing. With the items that we're capturing selected, you say create view. Boom, detail view. Turn this off since we're not capturing anymore. You can even go so far as to say, okay, I don't see what it's pointing to in there, so I want to change the opacity of the body just a little bit, just to kind of show it in there. Create view. So far we've created five views in a little time. <clears throat> Now I want to make a cautionary view to show that you need safety glasses when you use this. I can move my trail here, say update view. Now we're going to bring in another item to merge with our current document. So we're going to go to file open, select merge into current document, and then find the item that you want. I want these safety glasses. It's processing, it's rendering, it's metadata. With the safety glasses already selected, you remember that isolate I was talking about? All I need to do is right click and say focus. Focus is just like isolate in SolidWorks. Now we can only see the safety glasses. I can rotate them, do whatever I want. I want a low profile picture because I want it offset. We're still in high resolution image workshop. I want a detailed view. I want a size this guy for what I'm actually using. Create. Done. Get rid of it. I'm going to copy that detail view. And to create a new image. We're going to bring our motor in, paste that back in here, move it to where I want, make this a little smaller so everything fits. Right now we want to point at the grinding wheel, so let's move our trail over. just happened to put that on the wrong spot there. <laughs> there we go. So that way it's nice and easy to see where it's going. 
right click update view simple stuff right so now we've created six views now that we have the views what do we want to do with them now how do we get these views out to what we actually want to put them in that's very simple first thing you want to do is say okay I'm making more than one view we want multiple views click on views and then just name it what you want the view name here is the view name that we have dictated in here I can go in and rename these views to whatever I want and I can put whatever I want ahead of it then we'll have the view after because it has to be a different file name otherwise it'll write over each other high resolution <clears throat> what do I want my DPI to be do I want it to be really nice and cleared you think about file size you try to keep it low but yet you want a nice image save as Simply hit save. Now I've got six views saved out that I've created in a very little time. Oh, wait a minute. We have an update from SolidWorks. The mechanical designer has made changes. That's okay. We have an app for that. Go to File. Let's save this real quick. Update. Update from what? From the SolidWorks file. I'm going to open Design Change now and select Update. It's processing the new parts and data and metadata. So as you can see, SolidWorks Composer is very easy to use, very functional. You don't need SolidWorks to run it. I can output in several different formats and make quick changes. And looky here. All of our views have the current updates. Pretty cool, huh? That is everything that I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching this webinar on how to import and use SolarWorks Composer. Please keep your eyes peeled for more SolarWorks Composer webinars. Thank you. Mm -hmm.